Hello YouTube ladies and gentlemen, so today I am back with another, um, uh, tutorial time, sorry, um, so today it'll be the wave warp slash wave displacement effect, so I'm gonna teach you two methods, one is the one I just learned by myself, I was looking it up but I couldn't find anything so I was just kinda looking through all the different effects, and oh, this is not the right thing, this is a cinematic, not clip um yes yeah, so i was looking through things on youtube and i couldn't find um like the thing i was looking for i just like honestly couldn't find it and um i just so i just went on effects and just like went through all this stuff and i finally found what i was looking for and made my own like presets and stuff so it's gonna be kind of quick and very easy so if just follow the um settings i have you should be able to do this very easily so first you just get to drag a clip in whatever you want to do and then go to where he hits a shot i think it looks better in kill cams so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the kill cam parts just cut it for easy use um and then so go to where you hit the shot and or where i hit the shot so it is right here, and you can tell by if it's you're doing like a Y, Y over the shoulder, it's up, and then it goes down. You can tell that, or if you can see a muzzle flash right here, you can see it in two, three, four, five frames, I think it was. So I'll just give you the first one. And so what you're going to do is type in wave warp, and this comes with After Effects. It's not a, a plug-in or anything. And so what you want to do is you want to drag it out. To, well, I'll do mine 15. I was experimenting with settings. And then your wave length is oh that's sick, um 325. And then what you want to do? I usually put mine on 110 is my scale for clips because I just think it looks good. And then because if you don't if you don't if you have it at zero, you're gonna see all the black edges and stuff, but it just doesn't look good. So I put mine at 110. And yeah, that's all it, there really is to it. And then what you want to do is you want to keyframe wave height here, put it to zero, go over one frame where he hits it, and then go to 15. And then I say go, uh, oh yeah, and also wave speed has to be zero, or else as you can tell, it does the wave stuff and the movement and all that stuff like that. So you want to put that at zero, and then I, I'd say uh, second like 1.2 1.3 seconds you don't have to be like precise whatever just whatever you think looks the best and then you're going to keyframe this at zero um so it'll look like that and let's do a really quick ram preview uh, yeah by the way this is my opener for my episode so this will this should be out in about two three days and then my next tutorial time will either be how to sync shots or how to do 3D motion tracking with Element. So, yep, here's what it looks like. Oh, why is it so slow? Well, that's not right. Let's try this again. Something is going on. The audio is like way ahead of it. And this is just way too slow. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I'm recording. But, um, yeah, that's the first way, and it looks really clean. So I'll try to play as best as I can, so it looks like this, and then, so it kind of like distorts it like that, and then this is a nice fade away, and you can add some twixter there or something, so the next effect is turbulent, per turbulent displace, so you just want to drag it on your clip, um, what were my settings, I think it was 18 right yeah so it, basically same thing this is like the same thing but as you can tell it's a lot more random and like if you end up dragging wait no what's it it's a size well no that's not the right thing whatever but yeah like so i don't even know what i'm really doing i usually keep the amount the same i mean the size the same just change the amount so as you put like 15 to 20 so if you keyframe right here 
keyframe it at zero again go over a frame keyframe it at 17 or whatever just looks best for your clip and then you want to go over it again put it at zero and voila so that's again just a really simple i used to use this effect i saw the other one but i found it i think this i think this one looks okay but i think the other one looks better because it just looks cleaner in my opinion so yeah that's basically off this tutorial it's really easy really simple and also i, I I'm, I'm deciding between three things either the change of the text when you hit the shot so just gonna drag this back out so like like when i hit the shot see this i can you can change the color so you want to be red purple blue tie dye whatever you want to be i'm debating between that how to sync which would be like a five minute thing I mean, like five second thing. It's really easy, and, and or or um, 3D motion tracking. So I think I'm gonna do the 3D motion tracking, cause just cause I bet a lot of people wanna know how to do it, cause it only takes me like 10, not even that much to do, and I don't even need any other program. So before I need to go rambling on about all this stuff, I'm gonna stop it here, and hopefully you enjoy the tutorial. If you do, um, like and comment for more um, After Effects tutorial times. So. Yeah, that's been all for me, so peace out.